Thanks for joining Eileen's Bowling Buddy Skills Training Series. Today we're going to talk about repeatable laydown point with Rex Byron, founder, president, CEO, inventor of Eileen's Bowling Buddy. Let's join him in the classroom. So today's lesson is on the two inch, two board, two foot area. This is the area that's the most non-repetitive. If we learn to capitalize and repeat the most we can on this area, you're going to become the best bowler that you can be. Here's our foul line. And this is our two first two feet of a 60 foot lane. Okay? Foul line, two of the 40 boards, two feet long on our lane. So depending on where we put it into these two boards, there's huge variances and CATS shows this. And you can't lie to CATS. The computer reads it and shows you exactly how repetitive you are. So it shows you this is the biggest part of variance. And why pros are pros and we aren't is they tend to control this area better than anybody else. They talk about control in the first 10 feet of the lane. I think it's controlling right here. Now, this does not take away that you're going to follow through at a pin, or that you're using the arrows, or cheetah boards, or dots, or arrows, or whatever else you like to do, reflections, as your markers in your path. So here I've drawn line number one. Line number one goes from this corner to this corner. That's a two inch variance, okay? Two inch variance in the first two feet. So, I want you guys to know we have a we have a 60 foot lane and we're doing a two foot variance. So we have a 30 times variable, okay? So this going from, from this point and up to this point, this is, this, this is the line, line one, that's a two inch variance. You times that out, if there was no oil, if there was no friction, and there is a gutter to capture your ball, but if that ball went perfectly straight every time, you would be 60 inches away from that head pin. That sucks. That's really, really bad. But somehow we get fooled into it because we do have oil, we do have friction, and then when you dump it in the gutter, it's, oh, it was just a bad shot. You didn't even realize how horrible it was. You missed a baseball by a foot. You missed the golf ball by six inches and whiffed. That's how bad it was. So now, let's take line number two. Line number two is a variance of starting here, and we're only going to make it halfway down the two foot length. So we varied two inches and one foot. So basically, we're going to double this area at times two. You now are 120 inches off. That's, that's for sure in the gutter when you look at this line. So here's the first line. You're 60 inches off down the lane when it hits the pins. Here we're 120 inches off. Of course you're going to get in the gutter probably uh, 10, 15 feet down the lane, but that's how far it would have been off the variance. So now we're going to go to line number three. We're only going to use one of the boards, one inch, and we're going to vary one inch to the end of that board. So we have our 30 variance times one inch, and that equals 30 inches. So even when you varied one board, that one board that's one inch in those first two feet, if you hit one corner of it to the other corner of that two feet, you're gonna have a variance of 30 inches down the lane. Now keep in mind, we have oil that makes it skid and then catch some friction and keep it on the lane for you. Did you know that these people work really hard to help you with your bowling, the oil, and all the maintenance people to make it easier for you? Otherwise, you would literally be that far off every time and it would freak you out, but they do help you out, so we should be kind to them. Um, anyhow, now, if we reverse it and we go this way again, line four, we're at the same thing, we're at a two inch variance, only we're going the opposite direction. That's once again, a 60 inch variance. Our line five, where is it? It's that one inch 
to the top here, once again, that's a 30 inch variance. Right in the middle is zero. So if you can hit that one line, run it down that one line for two feet, you have the greatest potential for repeatability. If you control this, this is how you start working towards maximum repeatability. Watch this area, watch where your ball goes on it, watch how much you vary in this. We're going to show you out on the lanes how this works. This is how you become the best. If you do the three action reactions that I show you, and you learn to repeat perfectly through there, you are going to be the best bowler you can ever be. The first action we ever do is to drop the ball. Okay? And we do it by holding the ball in all sorts of places. And because of that, we go, we vary it quite a bit all over, right? So that's one of the biggest areas of non-repeatability is when we drop a ball. What you want to do is drop the ball. We want this action to create the least reaction. We want to drop it and let gravity do everything. So that's what we're looking for with the ball drop, nothing. With this action, once again, we want the least, which is the most repeatable reaction, and gravity helps us do that. Muscles ruin it. So there's our first one. The next one, as we progress in our walk, or for my friend in the, in the wheelchair, he drops it, he's not moving, but he still has this exact concept. He has to do exactly the same thing. When we get to the top of our swing, and we're going into our final movement, this is our sec second action. And once again, if we've gotten ourselves into a good position here, by repeating the best we can, having the least reaction, gets us underneath our shoulder in our slot. And once I'm here, what do I do again? Nothing. We want the least reaction, which gives you the most repeatability. Once we're up here, we want gravity doing it again. We don't want you using your muscles, not at all. Get it up, uh, let, the, let gravity go. So at the top, gravity. So in that action, we want the least reaction. And then we get to the final action, which is the most important part, and that's the key of that two, two inch, two board, two foot area, and repeating on that, which is hitting the bowling ball. This is the most athletic sport there is where you're not getting hit. We have the heaviest equipment, comes off your fingertips, and it's really tough to repeat this. So as we come in, now we're doing nothing, nothing, nothing. Here's the whole game, is our release. That's the action. And then the reaction you have is basically this leg, if I'm a righty, is gonna go wherever it needs to go back based upon the force and action I create there. Because remember, that ball is heavy. Uh, Sean Rash's ESPN um, special was awesome because they showed for him, it's 1,500 pounds of pressure on his knee when he comes in. We come in, we wanna do nothing. We wanna make that all easy on us. And then here's Here's our release, that's the action. This is the reaction. Wherever you go with your hand, that's a reaction. Don't teach the reaction, teach the action. So we'll teach you how to repeat here. This will just happen. So once again, three actions, simple. One action, drop the ball. Get it out here in the slot. Do nothing, let gravity take it right underneath your arm. Once we're here, our second action, do nothing. Let gravity take it right underneath. And then here's our third action. And then this is our reaction up here and our, our reaction with our foot, which I call a cat's tail. So that's what we're gonna work on. Let's go to the lanes. Have fun with this, laugh at yourself, because it's not easy. This is a very difficult thing. I call it American Ninja Warrior Training. You make it difficult so the bowling part's easy. We're just going to drop our ball, hold it up, grab it. Pretty good on that one. That one was way better. Okay, now I'm going to separate these.
I want you guys to have fun with this. Understand it's difficult. And this is going to show you. You're going to see how I get through this. You're going to see how I put it down onto the blue tape and how much variance I have. What I do is I take out the first pole on that first one so you can cross your foot and walk in front. You can drop, that way you're not, you're not kicking that pole. Because remember, I want to walk in front of my, my foot so that I can drop that ball using gravity. That's the easiest way. Okay, so on that one, probably four, five, six sticks. So it wasn't horrible, wasn't great. I got pretty close to my line. It came off a little bit, I think, on the inside. I didn't release it really good. And that's why I almost left that, uh, that A-10. Also, this tape is gonna cause friction to my ball, so it's gonna slow it down. And my roll's gonna be different because it's catching tape, not oil. So keep that in mind as well. We're just trying to see how much we can get through here and where we put it on that piece of tape. So my lovely assistant's going to tell me exactly where I put this thing. How far down the tape. One more try. yourself after a good practice session and, and bowl one game for score. That way you get to have some fun. This one's going to be a strike. Oh no! Uh oh. <laughs> it was so that was an incredible lesson. You saw how much I missed that tape eye. You saw how much I crossed it. Yeehaw, I got a, a Brooklyn strike and most of you are celebrating when the fact was uh, that was that 60 inches off. I just got lucky. So, let's see if we can hit that tape again this time. Hey, when you learn how to adjust, sometimes you get it right. Good luck with everything. We're going to put out a lot of new stuff that's going to help you be a better bowler, a better coach, and hopefully even a better person. Good luck with your bowling. For more info on our tools and coaching, stop by our website or give us a call. See you next time on Eileen's Bowling Buddy Skills Training Series.